I started the Saves for Seals program back in 2011, and it all uh, started around September 11th, the 10th anniversary. Uh, I think, like most Americans, we were all affected by September 11th. Uh, myself personally, I had a cousin who was a firefighter who died in, in the towers. Uh, so for me, that's where it all started. I didn't know in what direction I wanted to go, but I knew that I needed to do something. August 6, 2011, uh, I did some research on a Chinook helicopter that was shot down. 38 American soldiers were killed. The majority of those gentlemen were team guys. I got in contact with the Navy SEAL Foundation. Just started talking about it. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I knew I wanted to help these families. For me, it's put life in perspective. I've been fortunate enough to be a professional soccer player for 19 years because of these kind of guys who don't get recognition, who can't get recognition because of what they do, and they don't want recognition. They do their job and they do it at such a high level and they don't ask for anything in return. I think sometimes that we forget and we take advantage of the fact that these are everyday people. They have wives, they have kids, they have lives. We may push that to the side and, and forget that they're human beings. They have the everyday worries and struggles that, that we do, you know, in day-to-day -day life. These gentlemen are willing to put their lives on the line and, and ultimately sacrifice their life for the, the well-being of us as Americans. Once the husbands and the fathers are gone, the kids and the wives are left. It's our responsibility to take care of these kids and these wives and not just leave them on their own. Uh, when I met Eric, his number one philosophy was the team is most important. And it's a recurring theme through the Navy SEALs. Everything is about taking care of your brothers. Not you, your brothers. The better and the more successful the team is as a whole, the individuals become successful. It, it doesn't work the other way around. And that was Eric's message to us. I think we all heard it loud and clear and it was uh, a very important message. Last year, actually, I reached out to Andrew and asked him, told him about the program and, and asked him if he might donate. He, he put in money right away, uh, said it was a fantastic cause. I, I think moving forward, I think hopefully this relationship, now being back in Chicago, will, will foster and grow even, even bigger. I'm very happy to have an owner who, you know, sees the importance of taking care of the military. The first year we started, it was simply auctioning off special made gloves and special made cleats. All that money went to the, the Navy SEAL Foundation. From that first year, it's grown into a fan donation page. It's grown into Saves for Seals t-shirts. It's grown into a Saves for Seals section in the stands. We auction off two pair of special made SEAL gloves, two pair of special made Adidas cleats that will be inscribed with a Navy SEAL slogan on them. Every penny that is donated will go straight to the Navy SEAL Foundation to take care of the families of the fallen. If you feel inspired to be part of the Saves for Seals program, visit chicago-fire.com or the navyseal foundation.org. Thank you for your support and God bless our troops.